Hey, good people. Thank you for tuning in once again to the OD Open Discussion. And I am your host, Shannon Casino. And this today is my lovely guest, Tasha B. Thank you for coming in today. <laughs> no problem. And joining me today because um, I think it's very important, uh, the topic today, in which we'll be will be discussing today. Um, it's very important right now and um, what our country is kind of going through. Everyone sees it. Everybody can feel this energy over the country and really um, if we don't want it to continue, um, we need to get out there and vote. Vote, vote, vote. So today's discussion today is about voting and the uh, importance and the power in voting, especially from the black community. So, um, mm -hmm. Tasha, what's your spill on, uh, let them know, on, you know, mm -hmm. voting and um, how important it is right now, especially for those of you who are over 18. Right, What right. is the importance? Absolutely. So, we want to share the importance of voting, especially in the black community. Uh, many African Americans to this day still don't believe in voting wow. and the power that they have in voting. Yeah. And in this year's election, especially, it is so important that we show up to the polls and vote, vote, vote. Very, 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 very important. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as we know, as we see what this country has been going through in the last four years, um, then, you know, we're not here to bash on anybody but what this country has been going through mm -hmm. for the last four years um i don't know about you but i am exhausted Ugh. and i am all the way over it absolutely um so uh the strength is in numbers mm -hmm. so when you know when you guys get together and when we get together as a community mm -hmm. and not just the community that people make money off of mm -hmm. but when we actually come together and start loving ourselves um, all the way down to City Hall and, and to the White House as well. When we start loving ourselves, then people will listen. And right. I think that's why it's so important to get out there and vote. It is very, very, very important right now. And two, um, I'm not you know trying to influence anybody in which way to vote, neither. I just think the power of voting is, it's just very important to get out yes. there and vote, you know, you know because we need... Um, we need this equalized, mm -hmm. what's going on right now. Absolutely. Um, particularly in the black community, um, for us to show up and vote, one of the main reasons I'll, I'll start off and say that we don't vote is because we don't believe or trust in the candidates that are, are running for office. Yeah. And we as a people, if we don't trust you, we're not backing you. We're not supporting right. you. Um, but in the case when it comes to elections, we have to, even though we mm -hmm. may not 100% agree with everything yeah. that you are uh, campaigning for, everything that you're, you're saying or stand for, mm -hmm. um, we do have to make that very, very, very important decision. Yes. Um, in the last, year, last election, uh, 2016, um, 59 percent of eligible black American voters uh, showed up to the polls that year mm -hmm. and uh, we ended up with President Trump in office and um, as you see that he's not a person who was qualified for the job or had yeah. any political experience for yeah. the job. I think that and came out very quickly. I absolutely, think people that very absolutely. Quickly. Yeah. And you know we just got we, you know, we ended up with what we had when we didn't show up to vote. So right. um, definitely have to show up and vote. Mm -hmm. Someone who's qualified and has that experience. <laughs> um, I have to say, I, I'm guilty. I'm, I'm guilty uh, of, you know, uh, in the first uh, run mm -hmm. uh, that uh, Trump against Hillary right. uh, for the presidency of the United States. I'm guilty of not going out to vote. Um, okay. You know, I just, you know, you know, hate me if you want to. Please leave a comment. <laughs> Uh, uh, if you don't like my decision that I didn't vote, but I just didn't vote because I just didn't believe that, okay, I didn't believe so much in Hillary and, um, and I also for sure didn't believe so much in Trump and I just felt like, okay, so I have to pick one to make another one that I don't, you know, to, for one to win and so that the other one that I don't like, right. you know, win. I just felt like that wasn't fair to me. So I just said, I just can't vote because I don't like, you know, either way. Right. Um, right. So, but, so this is what we ended up getting. So, you know, part of it is my fault. I take, you know, take the blame for that, for the percentage of us that did not go out and vote that mm -hmm. year. Um, but, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. So, I learned my lesson. <laughs> right. Learned my lesson, and um, I know that it is very important for me uh, to get out there and vote this time. And, um, you know, it's coming up on us real quick, but you still have a lot of time mm -hmm. uh, to get out there and register. If you're not registered, especially for you guys, like I said, are over 18 years old. Right. Um, it's very important to get out there and vote. And I am going to do it this time, this time around. And I will vote because 
Um, I just don't like what, what's been going on. And like right. I said, I'm just exhausted mm -hmm. by the energy of this country and the direction of this country, feeling like um, we don't necessarily have a, uh, a, a president for all people, mm -hmm. but we have a president who has a fan base. Absolutely. And Absolutely. What's, what we're seeing right now on the news and what we're seeing is... Uh, uh, the fan base mm -hmm. of Trump, the, the racial calling and the police brutality. Mm -hmm. This is all under the fan base of that, of an old energy. You know, absolutely, you know, absolutely. setting us back, you know, forty years. Oh my goodness, it's um, like going back in time. Back in time. Like, yeah. Where are we right now? <laughs> right, right, right. So let me ask you a question. Sure. So, what was it? What was that deal breaker for you with with the president that? Uh, that you said, like, I can't believe he just said that or did that or what the situation was that you felt like um, maybe he should have been um, out of office. What was that deal breaker? What was that one that you just woke up and you scrolled and you said, no, he didn't? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what was that for you? Um, for me, I would say probably, you know, the allegations with the women yeah. and the things that yeah. he was saying and was recorded saying mm -hmm. and, you know... <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I was just like, wow, this is completely out of line for the president of the United right. States. You know, you've seen CEOs yeah. of companies, mm -hmm. you know, had to be, yeah. get the boot for yeah. less. You yes, know, yes, it's, yes, it's yes. just ridiculous. Um, it's just such a n number of things that, yes. that's happening. He's mm -hmm. uh, uh, created a, such a rise in racial tension, tension. in this oh, country since he's been in office. All-time high right now. All-time high. Yeah. Not just with African Americans, but with him wanting to cut off the border and, oh. and the deportation and the whole oh. ICE situation. Yeah. And it's clearly drawing lines with separation of yeah. racial classes in this country. And Absolutely. it's taking us way it's back, back, all way the way back. Far. It's all the progress that we've made in this yeah. country. He's just setting it back. Yeah. And like I said before, it's because he's inexperienced. He's unqualified. Yes. And perhaps we need to look at changing the structure and the qualifications to become president of the United States. Like, yes. This is ridiculous. Like yeah. you're enough is enough. Enough is enough. Yeah. You know, like there shouldn't be people like Donald Trump or even Kanye West Kanye trying West. to run for president. Hey, listen, like, <laughs> easy. We love you. We love you, but not for the president of no, the United States. You have no right. business. Not yet. Running for not, president. Not yet. You need some time. <laughs> all right. You know, you got the hottest album of the year, but uh, we need somebody else to be the president of the United States because right. that's how serious it is. Absolutely. Um, we go from having a president like Barack Obama mm -hmm. to having a president like Donald Trump. And I just I just can't help but think like if um, Michelle Obama said uh, the other day in, in, a, in a news press, she said uh, that her and Barack, they, they wouldn't be able to get away. They wouldn't have gotten away with anything that oh, Trump no. is doing. You Absolutely know? not. Um, one of the things that... that that was a deal breaker for me. The first thing that is, you know, there was a lot, but the <laughs> one that kind of stood out to me was um, the 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 uh, imitating a disabled uh, person mm -hmm. in America. You're the leader. You're the president. Mm -hmm. That's a deal breaker for me. Like you don't like you don't do that. Right. You know, you're, right. you're supposed to be here to heal. You're a leader. But why is that, you know, why do you feel as though that was necessary or that? Right, and, and I feel right. like, once again, it's it's entertainment, mm -hmm. but we don't need that kind of entertainment from the president of the United States. Right, absolutely. That's not the kind of entertainment that we that we need. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are just certain jobs that you have that I feel as though that you you have to have a certain uh, demeanor about yourself. An airplane right. pilot, mm -hmm. you uh, listen, I want to fly the friendly skies and I need my pilot to be friendly <laughs> as the friendly skies. Right. You know, right. Um, I want to get up there safely and I want to get back to the earth safely. Absolutely. Um, also, police mm -hmm. in neighborhoods where these police live in neighborhoods where everyone looks like them or majority of people look like them, but then mm -hmm. when they go to work, they go... Uh, into neighborhoods where people look like you and I, right? And they have a different culture uh, value or understanding, mm -hmm. and so everything we do looks wrong. It looks suspicious. Right, you know, selling right. CDs in front of a store is suspicious. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, you know, there's things that we're dying for that we shouldn't die for, and right. to have a president that does not back, you know, the movement of Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when you have a president like that, it just it just fuels that fire, Absolutely. and like you said, the racial tension, and mm -hmm. it just builds up, 
and now it's trying to be, it, it creates this police against black people. Right. We need a right. president that's that is so about the United States and the United State of the people mm -hmm. that he can get on TV and say, "Hey, listen, Black Lives Matter. Um, I understand where you're coming from. Um, we need to sit down and we're gonna talk, we're gonna work this out for right. this community mm -hmm. because." Um, you are still, no matter if we want to agree with it or not, mm -hmm. you're still the president of the United States and you have to, you know, take care of us mm -hmm. like you take care of everyone else. Absolutely. You know, so. Right. Um, At the end of the day, we are all Americans and we deserve the same treatment, treatment no matter everyone. what color our skin is or yeah. our racial makeup. That's just what it is. Yes. And um, going back to, you know, the black community showing up to the polls to vote, like with all this racial tension going on, there's yes. been a number of protests oh, and, and things that's happening in certain communities, yeah. people marching to their local state houses, Jason. government yep. offices, and office, state yes. halls, mm -hmm. and all that is great and wonderful. Wonderful, but you also need to show up to the polls, the polls to vote for those people that sit in those offices yes. that you're protesting. You have yes. to put the people in those seats that are going to do what's best for your community and change the laws in Absolutely. your areas uh, to go forward and to make this nation a better place. A better so place. you have to show up to the to the polls and vote. There's still plenty of time plenty to of time. register. Election day, is, Election. I believe, is uh, November, November 3rd. Yep. Mm -hmm. November 3rd. So you still have some good time to get out there and get it done, guys. Get it done. We need you. You need us. And we need this to be right. Right. Um, you know, everyone, and I will have to say this too, not everyone is racist. Not every white person is racist. Absolutely. Um, shout out to the to the good white folks that are out there that see that there needs to be a change. That This situation right. has to be equalized exactly. for us all. Mm -hmm. um, so shout out to, to you good people. People, but at the same time, um, we need to step up in our own community. We need to stop um, the, the hate between us. Mm -hmm. um, we need to wake up and understand that um, we have been systematically and instituted in a way Absolutely. where we feel like it is normal to be the way. And when you look at other communities, mm -hmm. um, it's not like that. Yep, it's right. ours. Is. So um, I believe in uh, getting on us as well. Mm -hmm. We can point the finger at a lot of people, right. um, the presidency, uh, the politics, mm -hmm. you know, but I also do believe that we need to uh, get right. on ourselves. Exactly. You, know? you got to check yourself. Check yourself first before you can check anybody else. <laughs> Hello. Right? So to say that, me, uh, to say that is to say this. Get out there and vote. And vote. We are counting on you to mm -hmm. vote. And also, we want to say that, you know, no one's saying that Joe Biden is an angel. No one's saying that <laughs> Trump is right. right. You know, but you, what you have to do is do your research. Um, you may not trust either candidate 100 yes. percent, but do your research, see what they stand for and go out and vote and make that decision. Uh, we know that Joe Biden has the experience. He's been in the office with, office with, with the vice Barack president. Yep, yep. You know, he's, mm -hmm. he's sat in there. He knows yes how to run a country at yeah. this point yes. so um and like we said we don't want what's happened in the last four years to continue so you know i mean it seems pretty plain to me let's get to it <laughs> <laughs> let's get to it if you don't like what you're seeing if you want tv to change if you want uh the news to change and you want it to be a, a little better um you know we don't you know the news is you know we get on trump because you know he's putting it out there for us to get on him about it right um if you're not fed up at this point then you are part of the problem mm -hmm. if you're not fed up with what is going on um right. you know we already have we, we're wearing masks and you should wear your mask wear don't your forget mask. please get out there i don't know how serious or, or not that it is, but I know something's out there enough Absolutely. to say, make sure you wear your mask. Right. But the pandemic has got out of hand. Mm -hmm. um, this is something that I think that we could have had a better grip on, um, mm -hmm. opposed to people going without jobs, people uh, oh, losing their homes, mm -hmm. uh, you know, not being able to feed their families, going from things being good to situations like that. And mm -hmm. it's just not fair to the American people um, that we have a White House that is... Um, it just seems to be not so concerned. Yeah, not yeah, concerned at all. Concerned. <laughs> um, so the power of voting, you guys, make sure that you good people get out there and vote. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you uh, you get your 18-year-olds up out the bed mm -hmm. and get them down there to stand in the lines. If you can stand in line for the baby at the concert, <laughs> at the Spectrum Center, if you can get in right. line for, for Moneybag Yo and right. Rihanna and all of these people coming right. into your town <laughs> to get tickets and to stand in line yeah. and go to the shows, you the can stand in line. The latest at, Jays, right. You know, you're out in front on. of Foot Locker waiting for days for the new Jays to come out, the new Kobe's and all of this. Right, right. Um, 
then you can get out there and get in those lines right. and vote. And then making it so simple this year, even with the mail-in vote process. Yes. Um, you know, so there's ways, there's time yes. for you to make your decision. Definitely, whatever you choose to do, get out and vote, vote, get vote. Out. Show up at get the polls. Vote. Let's do better. Let's be better than the 59% like that, that showed up in the last election. Like Let's, Let's be better. better. Let's be better. Yes. I like that. <laughs> Let's be better. Let's be better. Yes. Listen, guys, thank you guys for tuning in with us. We're going to wrap this up. This has been another episode of the OD Open Discussion with Shannon Casino. And today, once again, y'all give a hand for my lovely guest today, Miss Tasha B. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe. Yes, make sure you do subscribe to the Social Maximus. <laughs> thank you so much for coming in. No and problem. Doing this and needed this, needed this. All right. All right, guys. SC. Yeah. Thank you for watching the Social Maximus YouTube channel, where every week we bring you content of new up and coming entrepreneurs, entertainers, episode series, and even documentaries. So make sure you subscribe. Once again, this is the Social Maximus, and thank you for watching.